Canadian human rights legislation right now is uh, criminal legislation, uh, which uh, allows for the prosecution of individuals for promoting hatred. Uh, it, it doesn't uh, allow for the banning of listed organizations. Uh, the legislation uh, is, has been held to be consistent with Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms, so it's constitutional. We do have a uh, listing legislation uh, that allows for the banning of organizations, but it's uh, listing on the basis that they're a terrorist entity uh, or that they're subject to sanctions, uh, but not on the basis that, that as an organization, they uh, are uh, a, a hate-promoting organization. The government is proposing a reform of uh, the Canadian Human Rights Act uh, to uh, have something specific about uh, combating hatred. There's also been some suggestions about which political parties can be listed for office, whether there should be uh, legislation banning uh, the registration of political parties that promote hatred. But uh, right now, uh, if, if uh, we wanted to ban the Muslim, organ, uh, the Muslim Brotherhood for uh, uh, promoting hatred, we'd need new legislation to do that. And what we're limited to right now is prosecuting individuals within the Muslim Brotherhood who promoted hatred. The Jewish community is the largest community uh, in absolute numbers in terms of victims of hate crimes, and these are police reported hate crimes, and these are police statistics uh, published by Statistics Canada. Largest number on an absolute basis. Uh, on a uh, per capita basis, it's triple. Uh, the number of the next largest group, which is the Muslims. So uh, we're by far the leading victims of the hate crimes in Canada, unfortunately. Uh, the, um, and what's driving it? Uh, well, there was a huge spike in numbers uh, after the uh, Hamas rocket and missile attacks uh, against Israel in May 2021 uh, and the Israeli response. So. Uh, 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 I would say what's driving it is a combination of neo-Nazism and anti-Zionism, uh, but uh, what we see in terms of the numbers is, is the anti-Zionism is a prevalent factor. The uh, neo-Nazism tends to be a, a fringe phenomenon, whereas anti-Zionism has become much more uh, acceptable and, and much more widespread.